Well, what an exciting day it is as we venture out to this brand new facility at Pakenham. So much to be seen. It's been two and a half years in the waiting, but racing isn't that far away. No Darren Galley this week, so joining me is countryracing.com.au's main newsman, Connor Ryan. And Connor, before we get to all the talk and the buzz here at Pakenham, what a weekend it was in country racing, highlighted by Harry Coffey and his return to the saddle, booting home a winner at Eden Hope. Yeah, that's right. Congratulations to Harry for riding the winner of the Eden Hope Cup. He was on uh, Feisty Bell for Kieran Ma and uh, extra thousand dollar donation from Country Racing Victoria to the Hospital Helping Hand program, so it was a great result. It is a great initiative too between Country Racing and Cystic Fibrosis Victoria. To find out more about that, countryracing.com.au. More on the racing very soon, but in the meantime, strap yourselves in. Enjoy everything that this great facility has to offer. We've got all stakeholders and all customers and patrons uh, covered. So whether you're uh, trainers or uh, strappers, then you've got these uh, wonderful facilities, these undercover horse stalls. Uh, you've just been through the race day and admin um, services facilities. So, um, you know, the accommodation and the facilities for our race day services, people as stewards, the jockeys, etc., etc., are really first class. And then, of course, this wonderful um, event centre behind me, which uh, is all about uh, the owners, the trainers, a uh, wonderful dedicated uh, facility for our, uh, our members, uh, function room, but uh, the public's not forgotten either with um, some wonderful uh, facilities and bistro facilities. And then the two-tier marquee lawn, which um, will be adorned with uh, corporate marquees on um, opening race day. So pretty much, uh, yeah, we like to think we've got most bases covered. We're on the uh, 2400 metre grass track. Uh, it's a reinforced turf profile. We're very, very confident about the type of tracks that we're going to be able to deliver on race days consistently through um, summer and uh, the winter period. Uh, inside of that we have our, uh, our 2000 metre poly track, the world class uh, poly track, which as you can see is um, halfway through construction and it's on target for um, delivery and the first race meeting on the 26th of May this year. Well, the next racing season, there's going to be 38 meetings here at Racing.com Park. Uh, 17 of those will be on the turf, and 21 of them will be um, on the Polytrack synthetic surface. But a key part of Pakenham going forward is also it as a night venue. We're looking to run um, under lights here um, at Racing.com Park in 2016. So it's going to add a new dimension to the racing calendar. This is a massive project that Packenham Racing Club took on and look I must commend them on it. Um, surface wise, the course proper, you could not get any better. Truly it is magnificent. Facility wise, you've got it here. You're going to have your three, you're going to have two main sand tracks, you're going to have your poly track, you're going to have your course proper. Look, as a young bloke that's thinking of training um, and you've got nowhere to go, if you want to get in, get in early because within 12 to 18 months facility wise this will be world class. Well, it's been a great day out here at Pakenham. Our thanks to their CEO, Michael Hodge, and his team for hosting us. Connor, it has been a wonderful morning, but there's no rest for the wicked in the world of country racing, and the weekend rolls on, kicking off with uh, the Geelong St. Pats meeting and also Woolamai as we roll towards a close in the picnic season. Yeah, a bit of a St. Patrick's Day theme this weekend out at uh, Geelong on Saturday for the St. Patrick's Race Club, and it'll roll into Sunday with the uh, Yarra Valley Cup. Always a bit of a St Patrick's feel about the place there and, uh, and another meeting at Tarang on Sunday as well. To get along, check out all the details, countryracing.com.au. Until next week at Werribee, have a great weekend in racing. We'll see you then.